reports are right now that Sherry Redstone is most likely not going to do either deal. Number one, they're not doing the Apollo deal because, well, Oh boy, oh boy, Paramount Pictures, guys. This thing has been just an absolute disaster. I wanna go through exactly what is going on with Paramount Pictures, um, and yeah, this has just been a weird, weird setup, so let's get into it. So roughly four days ago, Paramount CEO steps down because it was looking like there was a deal going into place here. This merger talks with Skydance was looking to go through. We kind of broke down what the valuation of Paramount could be. It was a dilutive deal, it looked like, and the only person that was really gonna benefit it was Sherry Redstone. And so just let this story unfold really quick. There was supposed to be merger deals. The merger was kind of dilutive to shareholders, but in the end, Sherry Redstone's basically the only person that was gonna benefit. And we saw two different types of deals that could have come from the Skydance deal. Basically, number one would have been uh, an $11 roughly, and it looked like an about an $11 stock price and the opportunity for future stock growth with the acquisition and the merger of Skydance, and as possibly as bad as the stocks being worth about $4. Sony and Apollo come into the picture for a $26 billion bid on Paramount, which to me is about what I think is fair market for the company. I believe this would price the shares right around low... 20s high teens 18 to 22 dollars i believe is where the stock price would be and so when you see me taking the risk around 10 11 dollars with 70 percent upside i think that made a lot of sense but where i'm sitting now i'm just taking the 40 percent and walking away right now now if this stock goes back down and sells off which i do think is a high probability let's take a look at where price is right now i do think we could start seeing it pre-approach that 10 11 dollar mark again because the whole reason why this stock spiked in the first place as you can see here, it was basically bouncing between 10 and 11 bucks, but it shot up to 13 and 14 dollars due to the acquisition that was coming and the premium that was going to be paid for the stock, which now doesn't look like either deal is going to go through. Reports are right now that Sherry Redstone is most likely not going to do either deal. Number one, they're not doing the Apollo deal because, well, she's getting a lot of flack on that and seems like there could be repercussions if she did that deal. And number two, the Sony deal might not go through because the FTC might block this deal and this merger from coming through, and I think Sherry Stone knows that. But now they let the CEO go, and it's kind of a disaster right now because they really don't have any true management in place. Um, so this is a pretty interesting story. I think it's getting a little shady at this point in time, so I decided to exit. Now, oddly enough, I think we could, what we could see here is a $20, $25 billion bid from maybe a Google, a Netflix, an Apple, somebody who wants these assets here um, because we broke it down a few different times. I mean, CBS and Nickelodeon got offers of roughly $10 billion uh, by itself. So now you factor in 100 years of video, their recording studios, and all the other assets that are underneath Paramount Pictures does seem like a $20 billion bid would make a lot of sense here. And after it got a $26 billion bid from Apollo and Sony, uh, I think this is about what market is. But because this deal's falling through and because they have no CEO, are we gonna see somebody come in and lowball this deal and possibly get it done if it's a domestic company? You know, this one has been a crazy story, just horribly managed overall. I do think that this was a company that could have head in the right direction on its own. I do think that, uh, I think Sherry Redstone is, you know, there's a lack of leadership here on the on Sherry Redstone's part. Um, and just overall, it seems like this is a mismanaged business. But when we think about what made the stock originally spike up, it was the talks of the mergers. And now those merger talks are going away and it comes down to what is the actual business now worth? And so this is a problem now that the CEO is gone. They've kind of halted uh, production because they've been putting together this deal for the last month and it eventually is falling through and yeah this is pretty ugly so we'll see how this plays out but kind of want to jump on here go through the timeline of what's going on with Paramount I still think that um, this is an acquisition play it's definitely in place it's just a matter of who and what price I do believe if it gets back down to that nine to ten dollar range, I might be taking another small position in it again. But at this point in time, you know, I kind of, I'm just walking away with gains and letting this kind of play out here. Um, the risk with this could be that all of a sudden a deal gets done uh, in the next 24 hours that was way better than anybody anticipated. Uh, I don't know if that's a probability at this point in time. It seems like talks are pretty stalemated and deals are not going through anytime soon. So uh, the stock price is obviously reflecting that. What's my thoughts on Paramount Pictures? 
I, I've done the, uh, numerous videos on this stock. I, I think the assets separated are worth more than the assets as a whole. Uh, and that's why we're seeing so many weird deals popping up with Paramount Pictures. As always, guys, really appreciate your time. And we'll see you in the next one.